Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and first hands gameplay on Borderlands Legendary Collection on the Nintendo Switch. This game actually came out Friday with the other two 2K games, Bioshock and XCOM. But I got this one today because there was a lot of requests for me to play this game. So here it is. I got it so you guys can enjoy the gameplay. I'm not a huge fan of this franchise, but here it is. Um, I already did unbox it and um, unwrapped it and put the game inside because I, I started recording before and I committed a mistake. So I had to re-record this section of the video. So here, like you see there, it says Borderlands Legendary Collection. Includes three games plus add-ons. Um, includes the Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, and of course Borderlands. And look at this. It actually requires 42 gigabytes of storage. That's insane. That's in freaking insane. 42 gigabytes of storage. Of course, three legendary games. One two-player, one two-player, one player. And it requires the pro controller but one thing about this game that i noticed right away which is different from the prior two games that i uh, got before is that it comes with this right here right but it also comes with a uh, code right here which i have folded for these two games i guess because you got the borderlands the prequel sequel here and borderlands 2 right here and it has instructions on how to download a, these games using that code right there. Which is weird because Bioshock had three games and there was no code whatsoever. So that's kind of freaking weird. And of course, here's the game. And I already did put the game inside here. But for the purpose of this video, I just put it back in the case. Um, it is downloading already the game. And I can see here very different from bioshock bioshock when you put bioshock inside of the of the console it automatically gave you three icons one for one per game and you can actually start playing each of the game without downloading the extra data the rest of the game right out of the box with borderlands it's totally different with borderlands they you only have borderlands part one and you have to use the code to download two and the prequel that's weird and to look at this even though there's only one game in the card right there's only one game in the card you still have to download 7.7 .7 gigabytes 7.7 .7 gigabytes even though there's only one game in the card not even one game half maybe a, a little bit of data of that game right so um that's it so what we're gonna do here is that i'm gonna go ahead and start the game and see if we can play without finishing to download the game how long we can play or you know play as much as i can okay so here we are with the gameplay for borderlands game of the year edition like i said the only game right now on the card is this game and it's not completely in the card so let's go ahead and start and see if we can actually play something here okay yeah no we start later start game quick match match browser let's go to options and controller you have these options right here motion control you can turn it on or off as well uh, brightness and field of view audio you got sound effects music i have it zero just in case i get hit by copyright and you got volume voice over subtitles game options these are the game options there you go oh no, oh no, oh no. and that's it that's all you have there you got extras here but let's go and try to start game later okay so here we're playing offline i hope we actually plays so let's play game select character network play game okay that was pretty fast it loaded pretty fast from the main menu you. to this game really fast that was so far i think one of the fastest one that from all the ports that was pretty fast but that is really really weird that you know they approach this game different from bioshock bioshock at least you can try either game before downloading the data so there was a little bit of each game on the card. Here you only got one game and it's not even complete. <laughs> then you got a code to download the other two. That's weird. 
So you can understand why some little uh, this one I never played. I the only Borderlands game that I played a lot was Borderlands 2. I didn't play this one and I didn't play the Whoops, I skipped that. <laughs> I didn't play the Borderlands the pre-sequel, which is the one that I was actually going to try here because I know that they came that came out a couple years ago. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you got this one. Sniper rifle, revolver, explosives, and weapons. Uh, Syndrome, shot, corrosive guns. Hmm, which one should I choose? I want to choose her. She looks cool. Really? You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you find the book. In a moment, you'll be greeted by a funny... Usually I pick the one with the assault rifles and shotgun, but I chose her because she's like... I don't know, I've seen her a lot when it comes to Borderlands. I've seen that female a lot in the covers. So, I don't know if it's the same female or not, but... It looks like it. Okay. Okay. So let me off the bus, please. Open the freaking door. <laughs> so I think it's kind of good that I get to play this one first because, like I said, I didn't play this one. I played my first Borderlands game was Borderlands 2. Okay, hey, what's up? Look at that. <laughs> Volume is all the way up. Claptrap. Okay. Okay, you got your health bar there. A hundred... Initializing weapon display module. Okay. The two experience points. Level one. Nice. I like the way they're adding Great. everything. <laughs> your echo is fully functioning. Oh, she way, does please. use a assault rifle, assault weapon. Okay, so move around, look around with these buttons. How can I run? Okay, yeah, look around. I know. I already did. Okay, you press down and it runs automatically. Awesome. Step right up. This is the new U station. When you use this device, your okay. DNA profile is automatically identified and stored. Please activate the new U station now. Okay, how? Use. Ooh, there you go. Ah, so I can change. What's this? The hair color? Oh, that's the. No, that's like the outfit color, right? Okay, this is the pants. Okay. Blue jeans. Uh, okay, let's go and change this to the top white. Oh, some. And the inside red. Cool. We got purchase, reset skills. Okay. 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 Confirm and exit. <laughs> cool. Now we can head into the peaceful town of Firestone. Right okay, take me there. Nice. So, ooh, I can shoot like this. I can reload. Awesome. Oh no, not again! What? What? Oh. Where the hell are they coming from? I don't see them.
Oh, they blow that up. Okay, where did he go? Oh, there you go. Yep, they're gone. Okay, so this jumps over here. Like, see, this aims, this shoot. Over here, nothing yet. Nothing yet here. Over here, nothing yet. Um, here, nothing yet. Awesome. Ooh, yes, baby. Feels good. You know what? I don't know why I'm not. I'm not a, a fan of this franchise because it does look good. And I remember playing this game on part two. Like I said, where's where's this other guy? I remember playing part two on the PlayStation Vita and liking it. I really did like it. I think I almost finished that game. Oh, it says perform melee by pressing here. Oh, okay. Ah, crap. They died before I can actually try melee. This is one thing that I liked about this game. Is the looting. Oh, okay. And I guess, right? We got two weapons. We got that one and that one. Which one should I take? Let's go take this one. Okay, got it. Not bad. It does look really damn good. It does look really damn good. I have to press over here. She's and go uh, crouch. Okay, they crouch and up again. I'm trying to do the okay. What does it do? It doesn't do anything. Okay. I, was, I thought it did something cool, but it doesn't. At least for now, it doesn't do anything cool. Well, there you go. Oh, one shot. Most likely later on she does gain powers or something like that, right? Because right now she doesn't do anything. Not that much. Yes, baby, you are. I think if you oh, if you press, it'll, yeah, if you press and hold, it'll collect everything at the same time. Damn, it does look good, and it runs really good. I'm surprised how smooth this game is running here. Look at that. Nice. Wow, that looks really good. Oh god, I think I'm gonna get used to this game again. <laughs> Cause like I said, I at first when I played um Borderlands 2, I was like, eh, a little bit hesitant. Then I started playing it, then I liked it a lot. Attention, citizen of Firestorm! Where are you? How come I can't open that? Okay, it says accept. So it's a mission. Now that you've selected a mission, you will notice that a new icon has appeared on your heads up display. That's a waypoint. The waypoint will tell you where you need to go. Okay. Depending on what mission is currently active in your mission log. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me? Oh, I thought it was not going to let me go through because of the downloaded content. Okay. 
Well, so far, we've been playing, right? We've been playing without... Oh, oh, oh Zed. Okay, that's cool. What's up? Uh, it says, uh, talk, uh, the doctor is in. Okay. Cool, mission complete. Cool. Not bad. You just leveled up, leveling up permanently increases. Got it, I know. Four. Oh, money, we got some money. You know, that's the cool thing about this game is the constant looting. Now that, I re uh, now that I'm playing this. Yeah, I know, you're over there, girl, boy. What was that? What was, I thought I was supposed to talk to him. Okay. Not bad. You know what? I'm really liking how this game is moving. Moving very damn smooth. And the fact that I didn't play Bioshock 1. Oh, crap. Where the hell did that come from? By the way, does he have, she had the nades? Rescue. Now that the robot is hurt, he isn't going to last very long without attention. Why don't you look around for something to fix him up? Okay. Oh my God, I'm I think I'm leaking. <laughs> leaking. Okay, what else? That's it, right? Wow, well, I'm, I'm glad this game looks so good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, wake up. Wake up, dude. Wake the hell up. Nice. Wow, so I gotta say, man, this game works really damn good. Let's see if it takes video. Oh, look at that. It also t lets you take video. Uh, one thing that I noticed about the... I think it's both XCOM and Bioshock. I think they won't let you take videos which i understand because some companies they say that they disable the video recording because of the ram um what the hell was that okay this okay so we were supposed to clear this up for him now we gotta go back i guess okay guys this game actually looks pretty damn good it runs really damn smooth but it's kind of weird you know it's kind of weird that uh they went very different they approached this port differently from bioshock because in Bioshock, all three games, at least part of them, are in the card. And you can start playing any of those games on the card. And when you put the game, the card, inside of the console, automatically you get three icons. Here, what can I do for you? you're actually forced. There you go. You're actually forced to use the code to download the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2. Okay. Okay, this is isn't this like a vending machine? Okay. I might not have a med school degree. Okay, so we're still getting some missions from him. That'll do for now. 
and I guess we're gonna have to keep on doing missions from him for now um, this we can't still open it can't open it yet Yeah, stranger danger. Not bad. It, man, I can't believe it. How smooth th this game moves. Where is it? We'll have to go this way. Okay, to access your map, hold. Okay. There you go. Just hold here. Okay, hold. There you go. Okay, guys, uh, the video is getting long. Um, I gotta say, it does move really damn good. It looks awesome as well. So I would have no problems recommending this game at all. They did a good job here, but I just don't like the... What the hell, bro? Damn it. There you go. Well, right now we don't have... Right now we don't have grenades. You know, I be, I guess if we get grenades, maybe you throw it through using here or here. Right now we don't have anything like that. So, guys... This was hands-on look of Borderlands here on the Nintendo Switch. And I got to say, this game, at least Borderlands 1, plays amazing here on the Nintendo Switch. It looks really damn nice. And it was running really damn smooth. But let me know what you think about the decision that they made. Is there something you need? You know, compared to Bioshock. Let me know what you think about that I think it's kind of weird I think it's kind of weird there you go there you go so you can buy stuff from here most likely there's gonna be some grenades med kits right you can buy some med kits and other stuff here as well cool awesome there you have it guys so thanks for watching this video this was a hands-on look of Bioshack Borderlands Legendary Collection on the Nintendo Switch. Let me know what you think about this game and let me know what other video you want to see from this game. I will try to upload another video maybe tomorrow, not today, but maybe tomorrow in TB mode or handheld. Let me know how you want to see that video. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Bye-bye.